Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our Google Ads series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can go to our channel and watch those videos from there. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll be discussing about how to decide what CPCB demo to set. Like initially, while we set up a new campaign, we don't have enough data. Okay, so we we are a little bit confused then how much CPC bid we should target. Okay, so let's get started that how we can solve this problem. Okay, so we are in the official documentation of Google about how to decide what CPC bid amount to set. So let's see what they say about it. How do you know what CPC to set? You can figure this out based on what you know about your business and the value of a sale. For example, if you sell $5,000 worth diamond rings, one new customer is probably worth more than if you sell 99 cent packs of gum. Okay. So a default max CPC bid will be set for you when you select manual CPC. You can change this to max CPC amounts that you are comfortable with. See how many clicks your ads begin to occur and whether those clicks leads to business uh, results on your website. Keep in mind that internet traffic is always changing. So it's advised to be re-evaluate your CPC bids regularly. So they have given us some tools like bid simulator, keyword planner and fast paid bid estimates for deciding cpc bids initially okay so we'll use keyword planner okay let's see how we can decide cpc bids using keyword planner so i have researched some keywords here and i will put them here okay i will click on get results so we can see we have those two options called top of the page bit low range and top of the page bit high range so the first tricks i will share with you like you can take those two values and sum them up and divide it by two okay and uh, what results we get by dividing these two values, we will uh, keep those values as initial CPC. Okay, so let's do it how we can set them up. Okay, so we can see most of the values are similar like, like for those keywords. Okay, so we can see 2.68, 3.17, 4.28. Other than this uh, one, uh, they are uh, pretty similar okay so to keep yourself safe you can take the value uh, top of the page bit low range as three dollar and top of the page bit high range at uh, sixteen dollar okay so we can see it uh, take it like three plus sixteen and we'll calculate it and divide it by two okay nine point five okay so you can keep your uh, initial cpc at uh, at 9.5 or around 10 okay this was the fast tricks i uh, i follow actually uh, and the next tricks i will share with you is that you can take the highest top of the page bit lorenz below and the highest top of the page bit high range below like for this one we have 11.27 and 15.87 okay so we'll take 11.27 as low range and high range would be 54 okay so i will put 54 here and click on equal and i will divide it them by two so 32.5 i will keep the initial cpc as 
32.5 okay so these are the two options you can uh, use uh, for initial uh, cpc beads of your google lights and the last option i will share with you is forecasting okay so i will click on plus button and i will give some keywords here like i'll put them and i will click on save uh, i need to give a name like forecast okay i will create and i will click save and they will give us an average cpc called we can see they are giving 30 dollar average cpc okay so okay i have i need to select is it as united states because the keyword research i did for usa okay so i'll click on save so we can see they are suggesting us two dollar and 44 cent okay so you can this is not the exact way to give the keyword research this is an estimate okay so you can take this as a as a rough idea and use in your google ads uh, initial cpc and keep the campaign running and if you see some good performance then you can either increase your bid or decrease your bid as per your requirements so hopefully you have a clear understanding on uh, initial cpc bid decide the decidation okay so yeah that's it for this video you have a good day